Hello and welcome to the print. This is Anisha reporting from Bangalore. So it might seem like I'm standing in a simple one room in a residential complex, but it is within these simple one room offices where some new and rising ad tech startups in Bangalore are coming up with the best kind of innovations for farmers. Be it for the back baking process of irrigation or trying to keep an eye on your crops 24 7 to ensure that they're free from diseases. Antic startups in Bangalore are making all these things very simple for farmers just by using artificial intelligence. One such company is Agwise that has made an AI-based drip irrigation system. This medium-sized device equipped with sensors to monitor soil moisture and temperature automates irrigation by providing water only when necessary. Around 15 to 20,000 farmers use this device currently across the country. The way that we work is we take data from the IoT sensors. You have soil moisture sensors, you have soil temperature sensors, and weather sensors, and use that to automatically control the irrigation and the, and the fertigation to, to the crops. Despite the benefits of the device, which the company claims will save about 40 to 70% water and 50% fertilizer use, its adoption hasn't been easy. Primarily, Farmers in general are people who are, at least in developing countries like India, are uh, very oriented towards what are, what are the input costs for them and what are the actual benefit that they gain. And by nature, they happen to be skeptical. So they're not as if you give them some, you know, some technology or some uh, case study and they're going to readily adopt it. So they kind of want to be uh, been there, done that, found the advantage, and hence used it. So it's a fairly long cycle of proving uh, that you know this particular thing works. So I think that takes time. So we have to be patient in our you know approach with them. So the adoption in general, I think, is a bit of a slow process. And you have to be creative about how these people adopt. And uh, it's a trust issue as well. And we would have to go meet the farmers. We would have to do trials with farmers. Uh, and then once they saw the benefits, then you would start to see uh, the adoption happen. And agriculture being just generally a very slow process, anywhere between three months to a year for a crop, these are long-term uh, strategies that a startup must, must do when they're in the agriculture space. But... Now you're seeing a lot more, uh, uh, a, a lot more familiarity when it comes to these advanced technologies amongst farmers. Another startup, Philo, wanted to solve the problem of surprise disease attacks that destroy crops. On input side, uh, one problem that we had been facing uh, in our uh, uh, childhood and until. People basis, uh, they are not able to get the yield uh, that uh, that could come out of the, the farm right. And now with the recent climate, I uh, think these problems are increased. So no farmer is today competent on the yield that he's going to get, and more on the quality side of it. So, uh, for example, he's on today rain happen the pressure to be so, right? Uh, and then uh, the produce is ready, and suddenly one disease attack comes, and then uh, it's all produce is. So one way to see the uncertainty is right away. The the friends we used to play back at home, we were fortunate enough to get footage. Yes, night he came from there, but most of them could not get. And even after having two, three acres of land, three acres, four acres of land, since the yield is not certain, so that's how the income is not certain. Uh, they are forced to do the factory jobs, getting 8,000, 10,000 rupees a month. Just that the 10,000 rupees of month is a certain income that they are Their devices, called Nero and Cairo, change the way farmers do farming. The devices use AI to analyze real-time data of crops and predict the diseases that crops are at risk for well before its onset. The data is then provided to the farmers through an interconnected app. Uncertainty has now been changed to accuracy. Across India, around 10,000 farmers are using Philo's AI sensors. On an average, there has been 25% yield increase uh, across the farms, across the crops uh, by the devices. We have saved around 100 million liters of water till now uh, from uh, uh, 
uh, these devices and uh, the input cost had been reduced uh, again to uh, another 20 euro dollars so they have been uh, seeing the results uh, out of this and that's why they have been continuously subscribing these are just two of the many ag tech startups in the city. While they have their challenges with adoption and funding, Bangalore is proving to be the right destination for their ambitions of solving the agriculture sector's problems. Uh, Bangalore has been helpful in, in, in many attempts. One is obviously the kind of tractor like the uh, here. The whole environment of startups and, and investors and VCs and, and uh, the kind of product that you can build very fast, right? You have, uh, for example, we are in two varieties. So we have to continuously make our idea product better. We have to try out new things, try out new uh, uh, chips, for example, or uh, we have to try out new AI models, right? So you you should have people, you should have the infrastructure and everything available around you for that. So Bangalore has been helpful if, uh, for us in making the product. The whole country has been helpful for us in adopting it. But this is just the beginning. As climate change intensifies, these startups are now focusing on creating much more innovative devices, along with ensuring that they're affordable for a large section of farmers. Thank you for watching this video. For more such reports, stay tuned to the thread and do subscribe to us on our YouTube channel.